For every step you take, I have a price to pay. My first thoughts were, whoa, what the heck? Like, um, I searched through my memories and all, all my experiences. Uh, it never occurred to me, like, is uh, there is any game made or I played with this subject or of this kind. There are some games made upon uh, social causes and all. Uh, but uh, with this kind of angle or this kind of subject, actually there, there is nothing. So I thought like it would be a kind of one of a kind kind of game. Uh, it would be challenging because I don't have anybody to look upon. Like they have done it this way. So let us do a variation of that. We have to start, uh, start the everything, like all the game design from scratch. That was the first thought. Like um, it's, a, it's a weird subject for a game. And let's take it up. Limitations were there uh, in terms of project scope, budget, and um, the target platform also. We are looking into mobile only, mobiles only. So there is a, a certain uh, target audience for every platform. Like mobile, mobile is mostly for casual and mid core audience. So you do, cannot go very much depth into like gameplay and make it very snappy or twitch based. There are many limitations in the design itself. And um, there were many possibilities also, but the main uh, thing that kind of affected it, like the production is the mostly the scope of the budget. If the scopes were, were not so limited, uh, I would have started the game itself from the village life where uh, the player has to make choices and as the game progresses we can understand how and why the girls get trafficked by, by playing the game. And that's a major portion of the message and the awareness that we couldn't do in this game, uh, that we missed and I would like to kind of uh, do that. There is another part we never got in depth with um, the characters. The several characters are play, playing in this world. Like everybody has their own stories. And they have their human, inhuman sides. And we never got uh, kind of in depth into those characters and their stories as well. What is the exact problem with them? Uh, we can um, have a deeper understanding of this world. I long to go home to where I belong. I am missing. Save me before I am long gone. The scope of this game is uh, is about understanding why this is happening. And uh, this game can go over there. It never happened before in the world of games and all. We can have so much deeper understanding of player behaviors. Like how the players are behaving with the game and with the situations and all. We can understand why they are kind of getting into the dark side. We can understand how they can be sidetracked or what is you know, going on with their mind. In a game like Missing, which can be a bigger game and uh, if, if we can get into the that part of the player's mind, I think the clues of kind of solution to this actual issue lies in there. The game particularly uh, would be like in a third person kind of role playing game, uh, but it would be done in a particularly unique way. It has to be unique. The gamers can expect a different experience in that. It won't be like shoot him up or something like that. It won't be like that. They are used to actually play games where they can kill a thousand people in one game. But here the one of killing one of the thing or two people or whatever they are would be facing would be having their own weight. If you kill somebody or something like that, that will effective. All the actions, all the stealth and everything would be like realistic that is based on realism so it sound real or so so that it can play like real thing. One thing I can uh, say the gamers would, uh, have played many games but they uh, this game they wouldn't be able to actually anticipate like what's coming or how to play. This would be all out action, an action game first of all. Action, stealth elements, a uh, little bit role playing elements in a third person and it would be having a kind of a timeline of like 10 plus hours of gameplay. 
it would be featuring next gen graphics it won't be like low poly or something like that it would be fully um full blown graphics would be there because it it would be targeted at pc and consoles the thing would be very realistic there won't be like any uh, abstraction in the as aesthetics the scenes and all would be india centric and very realistic and the actions and the things will have some horror elements into into it some action gunfights and everything into it would be playing as the you know on a role of as a as a rescuer of this women going for a rescue may maybe he has promised something to their parents or something like that to rescue a particular girl or something like that he can go into the depth from his rural beginning and into the depth of the urban societies and other parts of india the dark parts of darker parts of india he would be exposed to them one by one and he would try to take them on and react to them in a realistic way it will have a toll on, on him as well if this game can be done i think it will actually advance the actual whole media of game game design as well the game which we are planning um the bigger game the big game of like um which is can be termed like missing rescue story we are kind of uh targeting a uh audience which kind of ranges from teenage to 35 years old and there are a particular segment which uh, affects this women trafficking issue a lot we interviewed a lot of social workers over here and we find find out we found like um, particularly the watching pornographies uh, through mobiles and all are affecting the uh, this particular age group so we are in a common place so why not target them their behavior the abundance of pornography is through mobiles and all are affecting their teenage the childhood it's, uh, itself they are into the wrong path which is kind of affecting this issue as well this issue have spiked the women trafficking issue have spiked recently and the social workers sees a lot of kind of relation with this pornography viewing pornographies and this issue so we want to target it target that particular issue head on with this kind this game we don't want to preach anybody or anything but the thing of pornography will have a effect on this game on on the characters their behaviors their modification of their behaviors so that the players can be exposed to what the horrible outcomes can come from addicting to this kind of things mm -hmm.